so if you observe your thoughts or like it's not really an option if you observe your thought if you are practicing meditation vipassana more or less sooner or later you are going to realize most of our most of our thoughts are about other people right most of our thought about like when somebody accepted us or when somebody rejected us or when somebody is acting in a way we like them to act or when somebody is acting in a way that we don't like them to act most of our thoughts are about other people right and it's really not possible to avoid this predicament that we more or less throughout the day we are interacting with other people right and most of the time people are acting out of different afflictions right when somebody is act out of fear it creates a sen- certain sensation inside our body and when it creates a certain sensation especially strong sensation then mind gets attached to it and then the whole thing happen right so we are constantly acting in a social interaction it is consistently generating different emotion inside ourselves and mind is getting attached to different kind of sensation repulsed to different kind of sensation and the mind is becoming noisy after that right so how does metta help in all this right so in terms of metta right i think it happens in couple of stage right what we are trying to do with the metta is we are trying to recondition our mind we are trying to recondition our attitude towards other people right currently because of our own attachment to our egos we can get really triggered inside ourselves when people are acting out of afflictions right when people are acting out of ego and they are kind of disrespecting you it hurts your ego right and then you feel repulsion towards other person right so metta is in a way trying to reconditioning this kind of attitude right so what happens is that with the practice of metta we slowly learn to see that people around us are really suffering right i mean it was if i look at my own life right it took a lot of causes and conditions that i was able to you know do a 10 day vipassana meditation retreat in the beginning and then i had enough time to do it more and get more deeper into it but it takes a lot of cause and condition to get into that right if i didn't do that maybe externally i might be successful or whatever but internally i would have been really going crazy right and most of the people didn't have those causes and conditions right most of the people are not introduced to meditation or any form of practice that help them to become mindful about their inner states so it's not really so it's not really you can't really expect from other people to act in a very wholesome way right because it's just nat- i mean nobody is intentionally trying to be harmful for other people it's just that the nature designed us that way or evolution happened that way right that we have this nature of being attached right and unless you practice through and you know with the help of mindfulness learn to get out of it that's your natural default state yeah so in terms of practice of metta right metta help us to see that right nobody is intentionally trying to harm you or nobody is intentionally trying to even praise you what is happening is basically people are attached to their ideas we are also attached to our ideas and if you are in alignment of whatever is their belief system and ideas or desires they are going to accept you if it is not happening then they are going to reject you now this whatever belief system and you know desire they have 
could be more wholesome and could be more unwholesome right because there is a pleasure in unwholesome things right there is a pleasure in pride there is a pleasure in ple- power right it's not like somebody intentionally doing this somebody gets attached to this somebody gets attached to more wholesome activities like more wholesome things like collaboration so people have a different model but it's not really intentionally or you know it's like it's not like somebody's evil who is doing this right it's just very innocently getting attached to things right and it's just like how we are wired like this is how the nature designed the whole thing so metta help us to kind of recondition our mind to see these things if we are already very purified right if we are already established into emptiness and we are already established into like more deeper state of mind we don't really have to practice any metta we just see this directly right and there's a sense of metta also there's a sense of compassion right but unless we reach there it really helps the practice of metta first of all it really helps to take these things less seriously right taking what thing more se- less seriously is like when people are acting out of afflictions of any kind it's never because of you right it is mostly because of their own belief and ideas and their own desires right so metta help you to recondition yourself to see this more clearly the more clearly you see the less it affects your inner state and the less it affects your inner state the less you get different kind of noise inside your head right because the attachment is not happening so at the first stage at least you with the help of metta practice you start to condition yourself in a way that is more aligned with the nature of reality right and it helps you to become more immune to these different afflictive state people are acting through throughout the day with you right and it helps you to stabilize your own mind right the second thing is more in terms of the second stage right the less you are reactive the less reaction happening inside your mind because of the different afflictive state of other people and for example you when somebody is doing something which is not in alignment of your belief and idea if your metta practice is strong it is not going to affect you that much right and the less it affects you when people are doing these things a slowly slowly the more compassion you start to develop towards other people right you don't really feel anger and hatred towards other people but there is a more of a sense of compassion and karuna right and that feeling is very wholesome right so i mean the point i that point i wanted to make was more like right in the absence of metta practice you are going to have a lot and you're going to have like quite a lot of internal difficult sensation and then your mind will be more noisy if you're practicing metta every day and if you're getting better into your practice first that internal difficult emotions are less right and then slowly those emotions are being changed into more wholesome compassionate kind of emotions right so that's how you kind of grow with your metta practice that's how your metta practice helps you to get better into vipassana also like a extension to metta because it's easier than said when people are acting in a very unwholesome way to not generate uh, more hatred and anger inside ourselves one of the thing that you can really do is to serve in some of the vipassana courses right sometimes i it really surprises me that some of the people who are doing a long courses pretty much never served a vipassana course right what happens in vipassana serving is same conditions are there right people are going to act in a way you know which is unwholesome because you are doing something that they don't like or they are doing something which you don't like and then you know rejection is happening withdrawal is happening all these things are happening in the vipassana course also and there will be thing happening that you don't 
like or it's not an alignment of your ideas and belief the same all the same thing that happens in the real world is also happening there right but because of the environment you have a lot of time to kind of practice to stabilize yourself in these kind of situations right and it really helps to grow fairly quickly and there is also this feeling because of the again conditions there that sometimes you feel compassion when somebody is kind of acting out of anger instead of anger sometimes the compassion comes out right and it kind of uh, gives you the glimpse of like what is possible with the metta practice at some level right so serving really helps in that sense serving kind of also helps to see it more clearly that people are really suffering right when a lot of people are attending the vipassana course you would notice right people are really suffering and the more of those experiences you have the more you start to come out of reacting to people's afflictions right and that kind of softening your heart really helps you to grow in your practice also <clears throat>